Guys, you might have uh, signed up for that DirecTV Now service, and if you have a Mac and Safari, it does require Silverlight to be installed on your computer, and it gives you this prompt that you're seeing here on my screen to install Silverlight, and you might have already done this, and if you don't know how to do this, if you'd like to have a walkthrough, check out my other video. I show you how to actually install Silverlight on your Mac. Um, but it's pretty straightforward if you click install. You might have already done the install process. Um, but once you get done, you might come back to DirecTV now, refresh this, and you're still getting this page. Um, and so you're wondering, hey, let me click install again. It comes back to this page, and it's saying the version of Silverlight installed is, in this case, Silverlight 5. <clears throat> so it's telling you here on this page that Silverlight is installed properly on your Mac. But then why on your DirecTV now are you getting this prompt that says you still need to install Silverlight? I did this and I kind of you know, scratched my head and you know, took a look around in some settings and, and I think I have an answer for you here. Within Safari, you need to actually enable certain pages to you know, have it Silverlight enabled. Now why it didn't prompt me for that or why it's not prompting you for that, I'm not sure. But uh, what you want to do is go up to Safari up here in the upper left and click on Preferences. And then choose the security tab and go down to under internet plugins. Allow plugins should be checked here. If you click plugin settings, and it'll probably if you just installed Silverlight pop you right down to Silverlight. But if not, go ahead and select that from your list. And then look over to the right. Here you see look how it says allow websites to use this plugin with the settings below. So on DirecTV now, this is set to off. So you'll just want to change that to on. So that's what I had to do. And you notice here, I had Microsoft.com set to on. So when I was on Microsoft.com, which is where Silverlight is from, that was set to on, so it was showing that it was installed. But DirecTV Now, this particular page, was set to off. So change that to on, click Done, and close out of your security settings. Refresh your page. And that should enable Silverlight for the domain directtvnow.com so you can watch your video on a Mac in Safari. So I hope that guys I hope that helps you out guys and uh, please give this video a like and check out my other videos and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.